Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You guys like my Trailblazer? Could be yours. This is your last week to enter to win this 650 horsepower nitrous fed van with a Corvette motor. It could be yours. RC component wearing, leather seat having, nitrous fed, 650 horsepower daily driver. All you guys have to do to get entered to win is go to ellisonassi.com. It's the first link in the description below. We got a bunch of brand new merchandise up there. We got shirts, hats, stickers, boxers, socks, key tags, bobbleheads. You name it, we got it. Everything from you small block Ford guys, you coyote lovers, LS guys, and big block aficionados out there. We got something to meet all your needs. Go to ellisonassi.com, and right now, every dollar you spend is an entry to win this thing. You only got to this weekend, so get your entries. If you don't get entered, you have a 0% chance of winning this. Guys, welcome. This is a very, very controversial video here on the John Doc slash LS Nasty Racing YouTube channel. If you guys don't know, we've been doing this for a few years now. We have a few builds. In the comment section, they just love to be like, oh, another build. Here we go. Two more years. Blah, blah, blah. Well, we're going to go over and count every single build we got. And we're going to include the shop, okay? Because I don't think anyone understands that. It's a big build. We, we spent how long working on the shop? Feels like forever. Forever. It's like a never ending. Heavy equipment. Nasty in the house. I don't know, is that like, is that mini, light, light, mini, mini equipment, mini heavy equipment in the house? Uh, so a lot of you guys like talk shit. A lot of you guys just like to inspire me with some constructive criticism that we have too many builds. Yes, we do have a lot of builds, but they all serve a purpose. So let's just, let's dive right into it. So we'll go right into the shop. The shop is a never ending build. So we'll consider the shop one build. Uh, as you guys can see here, we're doing renovations. We had a second floor to the office area, new bathroom, two-way mirror because we want to look at people while we're showering because that's cool. Uh, moving the parts room around, new windows and shit, upgrade security, all this stuff. We're doing just, it's 2022, it's time for some renovations. Which means we don't have access to the race car room right now because it is like a mess. We have some mm, lumber. Some, some of us do. Got the rock lobster in here. We're gonna consider that a build. Number one. All right, so the building, we're not going to count like on the scale of vehicle projects, but it's definitely a project. Rock Lobster, one. David definitely needs anti roll bar. We're going to go to a T6 from a T4 turbo, and we're going to go from air to water to big air to air. Still get his ass busted by the cow. <laughs> All right, just right there. So we got one build already. You guys keep, keep counting here, okay? Maybe... We should sell, you know what this will do? We'll sell half of the builds. That way we can get videos out faster, don't you agree? And then people can't be like, oh, well, you got too many projects. So we'll be like, no, we have half as many projects as we have. So you guys just comment down below which ones you want to buy, and then we'll just sell them right to you, just like that. Dave's big, truck, big, we're, big not, we're not we're not considering right this a build, because this just needs hubs. So that's like one day. And the hubs are here now, so we can put hubs in there. All right, right over here, Hank. This is, um, I don't know, I just felt the need one day to go out here and be like, I want a new edge, streetable, LS powered Mustang that I could drive around, radiator, E85, like real deal street car, kind of like a hopped up Camaro. So we went and got it. And it was supposed to be just a little bit of work and then it ended up being like, oh, let's just take it down to a roller and do it all over again. I kind of have a problem doing that. So here we are. I'd say we're pretty close on this. We just need to uh, get get some inspiration to get back on it, which I think I'm almost, I'm almost inspired to work on it again. Uh, but yeah, so this thing here, 408 power glide, uh, twin 68 millimeter turbos, I think. Uh, air to air intercooler, radiator in the back. Holly Terminator, uh, B&M Pro Bandit Shifter. It's got uh, a leash electronics relay board. So headlights, taillights, turn signals, all that good stuff, blah, blah, blah. AFCOs should be pretty good. Hoping to go maybe fours with it and drive it around the street. So that's build number two. Build number three, as always, the old Calmero. We're upgrading from a, uh, a custom kit to a Huron Speed T6 kit which I ordered the wrong turbo. I just got the correct turbo in, so we'll be putting that turbo on and getting back, putting this thing back together. So, build number three in the house. All right, going over here, dude, we're, we're racking up. We're not even like, we're barely, we're, we're not even over there. All right, build number four. 
Eddie Murphy getting a tube front end. I uh, got a badass uh, TKM Black Sheep Stage 1 going in here. This is Chris's car. Uh, we're going to build a, like, four-second street car. Uh, possibly drag and drive setup. Uh, again, air-to-air -air intercooler. Radiator, we're going to try to keep it all up front. Single turbo, we're taking the old turbo off the black sheet, put it on here, using all my leftover stainless material. This build right here is kind of like leftover of all the stuff from all the other projects I got. Uh, so that's build number four, Eddie Murphy. Uh, it's got a 400 second gear leave option, built 8.8, factory suspension, uh, Mustang. It's got some Lakewood 9010s in the rear though, so for all you old school guys, it's badass. Rock solid, motorsports parachute mount. Uh, yeah, we made had a Huron Speed, uh, Huron Speed twin turbo kit with, I think it had some comp turbos. Stock bottom end LS, we made like 960 horsepower up at the TKM hub dynos, uh, which was fun because we spun at like 8,200 RPMs, which is wild. Uh, so shout out to her on speed. They are a huge help here on the channel. We've run a number of his turbo kits on just about everything except for our tow to home. So build number four right there. All right, going over here to build number five, a big one. We're like three, four years in. This was supposed to be the salted chicken build. It turned into the Colorado build, went from LS to big block. Here we are. Uh, we got a 25-1J chassis Colorado pickup, uh, 500 cubic inch big block, twin 94 millimeter turbos. Uh, got all the parts here to put it all together. Circle D converter, Mazir, badass starter, flex plate, uh, TND rocker arms, TKM, did all machine work. Uh, Mickey two-speed 400, race tech. 119 series seat, absolutely badass, highly recommend that. By the way, we're doing a update here. All of the cars around here are gonna do a safety update, so you guys are gonna see a lot more race techs going into everything. So, build number five, uh, I'd say this one is next on the chopping block with the cow and Hank. We're gonna try to get three done at once, which sounds totally doable. Uh, over here, 50 chance, here, come look at the bed of this one. If you guys can't tell by just the way I talk, I got some ADD. So, I jump from projects back and forth. I got everything here to put this together. I got QA1 mod shocks for the rear. It's already got QA1 front suspension and mod shocks up there. I got a uh, quarter max ladder bar kit. I got a billet and a roll bar. I got a outlaw front bumper. Can't forget the front bumper. I'm trying to think what else I got. Cage. I got a cage. I got a rear end. Uh, I got a turbo sitting there. <laughs> Indeed, have a, a rear end sitting right there. I've been watching this for a little bit. Yeah, Tra Travis right here is our big S10. I've just been mod. watching parts just stack up in this thing. Like one day it's just gonna disappear out of the job. We're gonna get done. So here's the plan on this: to expedite this project, project, I'm gonna take it over to Bissett Performance, and Junior is going to install the ladder bar, put the rear end in there. Uh, I'll get some wheels and tires ordered up for it, and. I was planning to do a giveaway with this one, but it's pretty far out as you guys can tell. And also the giveaway stuff, I try to budget and treat it like a business. Way out of budget, on, way out of budget on this one. This one's just like way out, just way out of budget. So that's build number five. No front? This one should be able to do everything. Yeah, um, solid yeah. styrofoam LS block here. Oh yeah, gotta give a big shout to more race chassis. He was uh, a big sponsor on this build, still is a big sponsor on this build, uh, rear ends, Cages, you guys gotta check them out. They do some badass stuff over there. He's got a badass box body as well. Uh, over here, we got Wes's G body, which is fired up. Uh, just needs the last little bit of tinkering to go. So this is build number six. I don't take ownership of this one or David's, but because they're here at the shop, we'll count them. So we got six builds so far. Six, right here. Um, four weight, twin turbo, power glide, stock suspension G body, should run pretty good. Still gets ass busted by the cow, just saying. So David and Wes get ass busted lobster. by the cow. Nope, nope, not happening. All right, going over here, we got our Pro Mod. Uh, this thing right here is uh, number seven on the list of our builds. We are doing a blower swap, and we're doing a rear end swap to set it up to run on radials. We don't have a name for this guy yet, but it is, it's pretty badass, I would say. It's loud, it's got zoomies. Uh, Linko CS2 transmission. So it's got the AirPods and you're doing the weird stuff with the shifter and all that. Pretty cool. Uh, again, we're gonna upgrade this with a race tech seat, get rid of the big tires, put small tires on there. I'm going to be selling Mark Williams 11 inch rear end. Uh, it's bad to the bone. I'll sell it with these welds on it as well. I know it's high dollar. I'm not a big tire guy. So if you're a big tire guy and interested, I know a couple guys said, hey, get some measurements. I was supposed to, I just got it to a position in the shop where I can jack it up and take the rear end out of it so now i'll get the measurements uh number eight the red lobster the big brother of the rock lobster this thing right here all steel all glass small buck ford powered 
uh, switch it over from a Precision 88 to a Force Inductions 88. Just got the turbo in, so we're going to do some updates as far as some lines got melted. So we're going to fix some melted lines. We're waiting for our Brown and Miller lines to come in here. Then we'll bolt the turbo on and we should be good to go. So that right there, quick, simple, easy. This one right here, not really a big build, but we're just gonna make a few little updates, make it a little bit safer, make it a little bit more consistent, run better. Uh, so what, what is this, number eight? All right, number nine. We got, damn, we're getting up there. We got <laughs> the Corvette, the Silverback Z06. This right here, the Calmero, were the staples of the John Doc YouTube channel when it first begun. Uh, this is Chris's, I wouldn't say his pride and joy, and maybe his pride and joy. This is baby, it was a street car. Hasn't seen much time on the street yet, but we just got it all ironed out, took it to the track, and we had a transmission or converter failure. So we just got the transmission back, we're waiting to get the converter back and cut and clean. This is just a reinstall and hit the road. So again, not really a big project. We just gotta wait for the parts to come in, put it back together. So that's number nine. Number 10, we got two cars for number 10, as you guys know. Uh, that is our sacrificial lamb of the LS Nasty Camp, small buck four powered, bad apple. So that thing right there, kissed a wall the other day. This is its replacement chassis, so the bad apple's coming back. No, we're not doing no bad apple 2.0 or 2.5 or anything. It's just gonna be the bad apple. We're gonna wrap it the same exact color. It's gonna look the same. It's gonna run better, be faster, bust more ass. Uh, so where are we at? Nine? Is that 10? Is that 10? That's 10. No, that's, that's 8, 10. 9. So this is 10. 10. So then we got All right, then we got two more cars. cars. We got two more. God dang, we got that many cars? All right, we got Slick Rick over at Modern Racing. That is our 481X powered uh, Rock Solid Motorsports Turbo Kit wearing Hart's 140 millimeter turbo having Mickey two-speed lockup transmission radial car. That thing should be badass. It's over at Modern Racing getting wired up and uh, some fab work done to it, just kind of like the little ins and outs to get it uh, really turnkey. That one's using some really cool stuff, some ECU Masters stuff on there, some Holly Dominator stuff. That's gonna be like our trick, top of the line, badass stuff. And then we got what is questionably my favorite build, which you guys haven't seen much of, but you guys are gonna see a lot of, and this is why it's my favorite build. It's gonna be an opportunity to bring you guys from your couch to my passenger seat, uh, the Glizzard. It is my 460 cubic inch LSX crank driven pro charger powered Fox body uh, that is built over at Bissett Performance. Uh, went and redid the, the chassis on it, put all new floor structure in there, double frame rail, a second containment area uh, to do a two person ride along with. So uh, we're gonna be giving you guys the opportunity to uh, win the chance to go down track, make a four second pass. Uh, sitting with us, so I think that's gonna be pretty cool. It hope, hopefully, hopefully it'll be eye-opening to some of you guys when you guys see a four-second pass, or if we go out there and go 450, you're like, damn, I could do that. And you sit in there, and after I click the button and you throw up in your helmet, I'm gonna make you clean up the seat, but you'll know it's pretty serious. So, uh, so we'll cut it in half. We're at 12, so we gotta sell six of them. But you don't have all of them included in that. What am I missing? What car do you race all the time? Oh my God, the black sheet. Mm. Wow. It's in the trailer. It's in the wow. trailer. Ready to go. 13. Ready to rock and Ready roll. Ready to go. That one's good Good to go. That's how I like them. I like to just, good to go. So we got the black sheep, which is our L, set up freshly for LDR, which Vic called me a class filler in LDR. Very hurt by that. Whew. Very, very hurt by that. Listen, we've only run two races, okay? We've middle of the pack. Hey, class, class fillers? Okay, class filler up in the top of the class, pack. You I can't mean, be a class are... filler in the middle of the pack. Class fillers in the bottom. We're not qualifying in the bottom. We're like middle, upper, we're like, out of 32 cars, we're like 15. So no class filler here. We're just getting our feet wet in LDR. Made some configuration updates to hopefully be a little bit more competitive. Uh, but that sucker right there, world's fastest hydraulic roller LS, TCAM performance, uh, G-body, stock style front suspension, frame rail front to back, factory firewall. Won a bunch of 28 races with it last year. Went down there, won FLT. Just absolutely just donkey stomped all of Florida last year. I mean, I'm surprised some of those guys I was racing don't have, you know, a belly on them yet because I just, it was rough down there. So uh, we're gonna try to go down there to FL2K and do it again this year. Uh, with what? Just really depends on the flavor of the day, you know, what we're feeling before we load up. So it could be the new Bad Apple. It could be, Slick can't be Rick. the Pro Mod, it's gotta be stock style front suspension. So Slick Rick. it could be Slick Rick. It could be the Colorado, it could be the Black Sheep. Hell, it might, take, might take all three of them. Yeah, take them all down there. I mean, at this point, what the hell? So, um, 
yeah, that's what we got going on. So 13, we'll just, we'll, we'll you take. Got, you got two sitting in the parking lot. The Trailblazer? Nope. You got another Colorado. I got another Colorado in the parking lot, so that's 14. And you got the gold truck. The gold truck, I don't consider it's a work truck. We're doing an LS swap with a cam in one of my work trucks because that's cool. Uh, but I do have a Colorado out there. Fabbot Fab, sponsored, uh, lowered, Viking coilovers, five-speed manual, absolutely badass. At some point in time, it will get an LS swapped onto it. So I have uh, pondered the idea of hiring a tech or mechanic to come in and do some work by the job. Uh, but I'm up in the air. I don't know if that's something I want to do or not. Believe it or not, I work on all the cars, uh, as terrifying as that sounds. David holding the camera works on almost all of them. Travis over there works on almost all of them. Travis is our uh, resident S10 and TVM slash spindle mount installer. Uh, Travis, how many sets of spindle mount wheels have you, we installed? Four, Four sets yeah, in like two months. Yeah. Um, but I have pondered the idea of bringing someone in just being like, hey, you know, on some of these other builds where I don't have to film as much, like putting the LS in the Colorado, just be like, hey man, come down here, I'll pay you to put this LS in the Colorado, just do it in my shop, I got all the parts here. Uh, but I'm just a little hesitant. But with so many builds, you know, we've outsourced a little bit. Uh, Junior over at Business Performance is a huge help. Uh, the guys over at Modern Racing are helpful as well. Steven, Rockstar Motorsports, knocking out that turbo kit, just trying to lighten the load on us here. Because really, it's just, it's me every day, it's Matt a lot of days, it's David every day, and it's Travis a lot of nights is, uh, is how the shifts work around here. So it would be easy if we sold seven projects. So you guys got to comment down below what seven projects I expect to see everybody's comments about this long and just comment what seven projects we need to get rid of. It's simple. You don't have to say like any other like, hey man, your hair looks stupid today. Okay, because I know it does. You just comment what seven cars, name them off. I already gave you all the names. What seven cars need to get rid of, you say it, we'll sit them out front, put a for sale sign on it. If you guys all agree on what seven needs to be collectively, stick them out front for sale, just like that. I feel like I'm fair. This is like the Burger King of YouTube channels. So we're not gonna count the Trailblazer because it's your last week to get entered to win that and then that thing's gone. So there's no point to count that. So you guys can go to lsnasty.com to get entered to win the Trailblazer. Someone's taking it home. It could be you. Go down there and get entered. You got until Sunday, I think. Go to ellisnasty.com. First link in the description below. That's going to wrap up today's video. Come like, subscribe. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload.